What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have a quick unboxing of Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G smartphone. So we will have a look on the device inside, its design, features, hardware specs and all of the usual unboxing stuff. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So first of all let's have a look on the retail box. So here on the front side we got an image of the device showing its front and back. We got the Mi branding, name of the device and that it comes with 5G capability. Redmi Note 11 Pro branding and since this is a special review unit there is no sticker showing the information regarding the storage we got, the color variant and everything. So it comes with either 6GB RAM or 8GB RAM with 128GB storage so we got one of them. So let's open the box and let's see what we got inside. So here we got a SIM card tray ejector pin along with some user manual quick start guide and a silicon TPU case for the back panel. So here is our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G in black color. We got a 67 watt charger and a USB Type-C cable. So these are the stuff we got inside the retail box of Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. The smartphone, SIM card tray, ejector pin, 67 watt charger, USB Type-C cable, user manuals, quick start kind and a case for the back panel. So here is the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. First of all, let's switch on the device. And while it's booting up for the very first time, let me tell you about few of the hardware specs of the device. So it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G processor, Adreno 619 GPU, we got either 6GB or 8GB of RAM, we got a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, the device is IP53 certified for being dust and splash resistant, we got 5000 mAh battery with 67 watt charging. So now I'm going to go through all of this setup and after that we will have a detailed look on the device. And here we go. So the setup is completed and we are now at the home screen of our Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. But before we start, first of all, let me tell you that it is the exact same smartphone that is launched as Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G in India without NFC. And it is the same device as Poco X Pro 5G but with a different design. Everything else is same. So if in your region this device is launched with a different name, then still you can consider it as the same one. So first of all let's talk about the design and build quality. On the front side we got a 6.67 inch display with 86% screen to body ratio. The bezels on the sides are pretty thin. We got just a bit of bezels at the bottom and the same goes with the top bezel as well. Overall the front side is basically just a screen as even the punch hole on the display is very tiny and actually one of the smallest front cam punch hole display on any phone. At the bottom we got the speaker grill, primary microphone, USB type C port and a dual hybrid nano sim card slot so one of them can be used for micro SD card as well. At the top we got the 3.5 mm jack, another speaker grill so Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G comes with stereo speaker setup, we got the microphone and an IR blaster as well. On the left side there is no physical keys button or anything and then on the right side we got the volume keys and the power key under which you will find the fingerprint sensor embedded as well. The position of the power key is perfect as it is exactly reaching to my thumb here so using it will be quite easy and the same is the case if you use the device with left handed hand the index finger is reaching the power key very easily so it does not matter if you are a left-handed person or right-handed person you will be able to use the fingerprint sensor on Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G without facing any issue. The front of the device is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and the device comes with IP53 splash resistance. On the back side we got the tempered glass that comes with a matte finish that looks very beautiful and quite premium as well. We got this huge Redmi and 5G branding and this regulatory information that gets hidden at some angle but 
pops out at some different angles. So personally, I would prefer if they were hidden as it will contribute in the overall minimalistic design and look of Redmi Note 11 Pro. On the top left side, we got the camera module that is divided in two parts and the camera island itself is divided in two parts as well. So at the bottom, we got the ultra wide angle lens and macro lens along with the flash and some branding and then at the top we got the 108 MP primary camera. The camera module is popping out of the body and if you are not using the case then the device might wobble a bit if you put it on a flat surface. Talking about the flat surface, the back panel is actually totally flat and it looks really beautiful and provides a nice visual experience as well and it also contributes in overall handling and providing a very good grip because of the flat back panel and the flat frame we got on Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. So overall, in terms of design and build quality, Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G is a pretty solid device as it comes with nice screen to body ratio, Gorilla Glass 5 protection, beautiful looking flat matte finished back panel, stereo speaker setup, dedicated 3.5 mm audio jack, IR blaster, and the front cam punch hole is very, very tiny. Talking about the display, we got a 6.67 inch Super AMOLED display with Full HD Plus resolution and 86% screen to body ratio that provides 395 ppi. So the display quality is quite nice for sure. Also the viewing angles are very nice and with the maximum 700 nits brightness, the display is quite bright as well as you can get the idea here. And the minimum brightness is very low so you can use the device in low light situation without even turning on the night mode or blue filter mode as it won't cause any stress to your eyes. Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G display comes with 120Hz refresh rate but it is not fully adaptive. It works either on 120Hz or 60Hz. If you select the 120Hz then it will switch between 120Hz or 60Hz depending on the content you are consuming on the device. It won't go to 90Hz or 48Hz or 30Hz. It will be either 60 or 120. And as you can see it is very very smooth here once we select the 120Hz refresh rate. Also the touch screen sensitivity is very nice and you can see how responsive is the display of Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here. The screen is protected by Gorilla Glass 5 but this is quite exceptional that Xiaomi is not providing a screen protector pre-applied on Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G unlike other Xiaomi smartphones. I'm not sure it's just the case with my review unit or that's how it is for all of the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G but the good part is that at least it is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. Talking about the software, it comes with Android 11 and Xiaomi's MIUI 13. So on the front side here we got some MIUI applications along with lots of Google applications. As you can see, it comes with Xiaomi Community, Mi Video, Notes, etc. pre-installed. Under tools you will find some nice and useful applications along with the Mi Remote to use the IR Blaster we got on the device. It also comes with the FM radio and then we got plenty of bloatware installed on our Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. But the good part is that if you do not want to use them, you can easily uninstall all of them from your Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G to start fresh with your device. It also comes with Netflix because Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G comes with wide wine L1 DRM support so you can stream good quality video content using Netflix and other video streaming websites. If you go to the settings and then to the about phone section, here you can see that this device comes with MIUI version 13.0.9 and talking about the storage, as I said, there was no sticker on the retail box. Our device comes with 128 GB storage, out of which 29.3 GB is preoccupied. So you will get around 99 GB storage free on your Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. And if you want, you can use the SIM2 slot to use a micro SD card to expand the storage as well. Talking about the RAM, here you can see that our device comes with 8 GB RAM. There is another variant with 6 GB RAM and Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G also comes with memory expansion feature and 3 GB is by default is added in the RAM as you can see here. Here you can see how feature rich is Xiaomi's MIUI 13. Lots of options and settings we got that you can 
use to improve your productivity on this device and we will talk about all of them in our later videos here i just want to give you an idea what are the stuff we got on xiaomi's mi ui 13 here now talking about the camera on the front side we got a 16 megapixel front facing camera capable of recording 10 atp resolution videos and on the back we got the triple rear camera setup that consists of 108 megapixel primary camera 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and 2 megapixel dedicated macro lens and then we got some branding of 108 mp camera ai a red dot portraying as a laser autofocus and then the flash in a ring that also gives the impression of a lens from a distance so even though we got triple rear camera setup from a distance it might look like we got a penta camera setup on redmi note 11 pro 5g if you launch the camera application this is the user interface you will find so you can see that the device comes with hdr ai mode we got some filters google lens pre-applied and lots of options that you can use to take pictures if you go to the video mode you can see that it comes with some filters once again there is beautification option as well and it can record only 10 ATP resolution videos at 30 fps so there is no 60 fps option for 10 ATP resolution videos there is no 4k video recording and that's kind of shame because in this price segment there are many other smartphones available that can record 4k resolution videos or at least full hd resolution videos up to 60 fps and then we got the pro mode we got the portrait mode that is the combination of bokeh effect and beautification you can also apply some filters if you go to more here you will find that the device comes with night mode dedicated 108 megapixel mode short video panorama documents slow motion we got time lapse long exposure dual video and if you want you can even edit this arrangement of the camera mode so we got plenty of options here when it comes to camera modes but now let's take a few pictures of this tiny little toy here in the auto mode and let's see how good it's going to be So these are the pictures that we have just captured and as you can see that the camera of Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G is capturing good amount of details even of a tiny object here that we got and the color reproduction is very nice just like the original object here. Here it is a bit out of focus because the camera was a bit closer to the subject here. Here everything is in focus with good amount of details because camera was at a proper distance capturing good focus details of the straw here. You can even see the dust particle. Once again when the camera was close to the object it went a bit out of focus as you can see so in this situation we will have to use the dedicated macro lens but when it is working fine it's capturing very nice images with good amount of details as you can see here so at the first glance the camera performance is looking nice for sure as it capturing good amount of detail with nice colored reproduction but we will see how good it's going to be in our detailed camera review of the device and also in the detailed review of xiaomi redmi note 11 pro 5g so at the first glance redmi note 11 pro 5g is looking a pretty solid smartphone in its price segment the design and build quality is quite nice as it comes with nice screen to body ratio Corning gorilla glass 5 protection ip53 certification a very nice and beautiful looking design a super tiny punch hole for the front cam a studio speaker setup 3.5 mm jack ir blaster and a blazing fast 67 watt charging that you won't find on many smartphones in this price segment so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day